Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Hamilton. Famous for playing Gloin. Or as we like to call him, Gloin. Here he comes. I know, you're most welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Hamilton. Thank you for your time. Thank you. He's good, isn't he? William Kircher, ladies and gentlemen. What a legend. Uh, hi, nice to see you. And nice to see also some family members. Some people I haven't seen for a while. But anyway, it's great to be here at Christchurch. Now, I'm Peter Hamilton, and I play Gloin, and those of you that follow the story will know that I am Gloin is the father of Gimli from Lord of the Rings, and I'm, I feel very proud to be part of that family, and uh, we've had a great time on the movie, and uh, it just continues, and this has been fun as well. But the best thing to do, you want a question great, because I, I love questions, so let's go, go for it. So, have I met John Rhys Davies? Yes. Yep, um, John Rhys Davies, who played Gimli, wonderful man. I've only had one chance to meet him, and it was very brief, and it's all on the uh, production diary video. And it was literally, as you see it, we're just in our first few days of filming, filming at Bag End, and the dwarves sitting around the table, and I had no idea. Hello, girl. We're all rocking. Um, I had no idea that he was actually even in the country. No warning. I'd never met the guy, and uh, suddenly he showed up, and that was a thrill for all of us. And I got to have a moment with him. And I got to call him son, <laughs> and he called me dad, and that was really nice. And, and unfortunately, then he was whisked away and other things. I haven't had any other time with him, and I'm hoping to cross paths with him somewhere around the world. And, uh, Cool, so any more questions? Come on, hit us with the questions. Yes, here. Yeah. I'll come down and pay for you. Come on, so everybody can hear you. Yes, yes. Gimli at that. that. Did you get the question, everybody? Gimli's reaction to being left at home by his father during the Hobbit adventure. Um, Gimli is a young boy at that point of, oh now, geez, I'll have to figure that out. I'll get back to you on that one, I, I, to his age and warmish years. But he's a young boy, probably too little to go on an epic adventure. Uh, and I would say that it's pretty clear that he would be really pissed off about that and very drunk. Uh, and you'll see a moment, I think it's going to be the second film where a picture of him emerges for a moment. I can't say too much more about that, but if you've read the book, I think you'll, you'll understand. So Gimli, um, he gets all his feisty attitude and fighting qualities from his father, of course, and um, as I say, it's a great thrill for me to be um, part of that, part of that group. Um, now, questions, any more questions, lady here? Come on, here we go. My favourite movie role of today, excluding The Hobbit, that's a very hard question. Because I haven't done many movies. Favourite role, okay. Favourite role. And I, well, that's an even tougher question because I've done a lot of theatre, done a lot of stage shows in my 30 year career as an actor. Um, Pick one recently. Oh, I know. I well, I got to I got to play Charles Darwin, father of the theory of evolution, in a play uh, three or four years ago in, in Wellington, and that was very challenging and stimulating. Uh, it's one of the great things about being an actor is that you get to do a, a whole range of things. And uh, I what have I played? I've played on stage. I've played a, uh, a nuclear physicist. So I had to learn a bit about science for that. I played a brilliant mathematician. I played a baby. All sorts of crazy things. And and yet I think it's fair to say that 
in answer to your original question in terms of films, I, I've only done a little bit of New Zealand film and television prior to the uh, Little bits and pieces, nothing terribly high profile. I was on Short and Street about 10 years ago for a few months. Um, little bits and pieces and some recent local dramas. I played Peter Fraser in a uh, local drama called Spies and Lies, which was on television a couple of years ago. But nothing really big. So this, to be suddenly on board for The Hobbit, is just still blows my mind. To me. Yep. How was I? How was I cast? Do you want to hear about the casting process? Yep. They, um, I, I've been an actor in Wellington basically all my life. And um, they ran some auditions for a select list. They only wanted to see certain people, a small number of actors, and they were auditions for the dwarf roles. That's how they were presented. So I got to actually audition for Loin, the part I ended up playing. But I have to tell you, at that point, I didn't seriously believe I'd be in the running for anything. Um, I thought that what they were doing was they were, whether they were going through the motions or the I mean, obviously there were a number of um, New Zealand actors in Lord of the Rings and in recent Peter Jackson movies, and you know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Uh, but I thought that's a long shot. I thought maybe they were just using the material, producing material for the dwarves in the auditions, and maybe some of us local actors might get some of the crumbs that could fall off the table, you know, smaller bits. So, I can honestly say, that when my agent rang up and said, congratulations, if you're not going to be part of drawing, drawing the door, I didn't believe it. I thought he was kidding, I thought he was winding me up. And that was an amazing day, and, um, and, and every day since, in association with the Hobbit, has been really extraordinary, I have to say. Um, yeah, it was um, a real, it's like the dream job, really. Any other questions? Hello?